And so the journal lucked into Jeter Watson Elementary PTO and Rachel Thompson, uh, President. Rachel, what's going on here? Tell, tell the public about uh, the new sign. Sure. So as part of the school merger, our school was the only school, elementary school, to receive a new name. And so we felt it appropriate to take on the task of making sure we had a brand new logo and mascot to go with the name. And so we raised money through uh, very generous members in the community in order to undertake that work. And I'll let Jacob Grimes, who is our co-vice president of the PTO, talk a little bit more about how we undertook that task. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we reached out to an organization called Spellbrand. They have a subdivision that does school branding and uh, worked with them on kind of what we were looking for. We wanted a kind of a playful, youthful looking mascot. Uh, we are the, uh, I guess, the Covington Elementary School, so we did want to keep with the, the Cougar theme, so we decided to be the, the Cougar Cubs. Um, we narrowed it down to two options. They gave us a lot of great options, and we narrowed it down to two different mascots, and we let our wonderful faculty and staff of the elementary school vote on which one was their favorite. So this and is what we, what we ended up with. And Jacob, this was, it wasn't just a few dollars, though. The whole project was close to $1,200? Yeah, we received donations uh, to be able to do those, the logo and mascot through some local businesses. Uh, they, they all kind of chipped in to, to help us uh, come up with the money to be able to do it. So we didn't have to take it out of the, the PTO pocket where, we, you know, where we're spending money on other important right. things. So they, they helped us out with that for sure. And Madam President, uh, we understand, the journal understands that the mascot has a very special name. The mascot does have a very special name indeed. Um, recently, we lost our beloved resource officer, J.B. Ruffman, and beloved by students, faculty, teachers alike, as well as the community. And so um, our other co-vice president, Megan Grimes, had the wonderful idea to name our new mascot after him. So this is J.B., our cub, and we couldn't be more proud of the legacy that he's left here for us. The journal thanks you for a recreation of a ceremony, <laughs> and uh, congratulations, it's a, a wonderful logo and sign, and I guess everybody's looking forward to a very successful year. We are indeed, we are ready. We are ready for our students and excited to welcome them back. And, and just one aside, if somebody, a parent, wants to join the PTO, Madam President, how do they go about it? They can message me or email me or call the school or any of us. Um, we have Allison Burton here who is our co-treasurer. Of course, I mentioned Megan Grimes and Jacob Grimes already. And then Diana Burns who is our secretary. And we have some additional members who weren't able to be here today. Um, Terry Miller. Aaron Conrad, Nikki Burton, and Michael Armstrong are all members of our PCO leadership team, so you can reach out to any one of us. We'll have flyers for the, the orientation day on Monday with our contact information on there. So we would love to have as many parents as possible join our crew. We need more volunteers, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Just trying to plan. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you.